So I've been playing this game quite a bit lately, and I wanted to tell you guys about it. Except that I can't review it because the game is still in its alpha stages, and it's not doing a Kickstarter or anything, so I can't do a worth a damn video on it, so... This will just be... a video. A video on the game. For you to watch. Anyway, the game is called Haven and Hearth, and it's a nature survival MMO. Think of something like Harvest Moon with only a persistent world and everything you do is permanent. You start off alone and lost, wearing only basic clothing and a comically oversized hat. And if you don't wear the hat, you have an em over. In this game, you don't level up from experience points by things like killing monsters or whatever. You get learning points which you spend to increase your different abilities or learn new skills. And you get learning points by discovering everything. Every little thing that you discover gets you points. See that tree? Take a branch from it. That's the actual sound effect, by the way. It plays every single time. It's completely shameless, and I'm perfectly okay with it. So the game is all about survival. You need to keep yourself fed and protected. You will start off wandering the forest eating apples and then immediately littering the forest. Sure, you'll spend most nights sleeping on a pile of grass under a grass tarp held up by a stick, but with enough perseverance and hopefully some friends, you'll eventually have a homestead you're proud of. This is my home I made with my friends. We've got our own houses, a few farm fields, a chicken coop here. Over here is where I do all of my leather working, and this is where I made a table and silverware so that we have a nice place to eat. We also surrounded ourselves with a palisade wall to ward off intruders. Our gatekeeper is a shirtless guy wearing a pumpkin head named Jum Jum Jr. It took a lot of work to get what you see here, and that's one of the draws of the game, or drawbacks depending on how you look at it. Everything takes a long time to do. To make leather, you gotta get enough points to learn the leather working skill, and then find something to make leather out of. Like this bunny! Then you gotta dry the bloody hide on a drying rack. This takes eight real life hours. Then you take the dried hide and put it in a tanning tub, fill the tub with water, cover the tub, and then wait another eight real life hours. And then you have some leather. I do this for 10 different tanning tubs every day. You think that's bad? Some of these crops can take anywhere from 12 hours to seven days to grow. You can also get extra learning points by studying curiosities. Things like ants, a dragonfly, some kind of plant. These can take as little as 20 minutes for a few learning points, or the really good one gives tens of thousands of points after a couple of days. Even some of the little tasks take an aggravating amount of time, like chopping up this stump for some firewood. By the way, there's a total of like eight sound effects in the entire game, and I'm pretty sure they were all stolen from other games. And what music there is is so bad it'll get stuck in your head. So yeah, the game is all about survival. Get food, go exploring, make pottery, and if you want to eventually, make villages and claim land for yourself. You can also go mining, which is really hard to do. It took us over a week of preparation just to make a mine shaft. And uh, it turns out we're not very good at it. Cave-ins are a very real danger while mining. This is actually our second mine here. This one is our first. I'll have you know, we only suffered blunt head trauma a total of six times. Here's another cool mechanic they have. You increase your attribute points by eating different types of food. So there really aren't level ups in this game at all. It's all based on survival and discovery. However, there is a very, very dark side to Haven and Hearth. Death is permanent. If you die, you lose everything. If you come across a skeleton, it means some player lost their poor soul here and had to start all over. And yes, boars and bears are fearsome foes, but the biggest danger is other players. With the right skills purchased, other players can turn on criminal acts to trespass on your land, steal your things, and in some cases, outright murder you. This is why we have Jum Jum Jr. Jum Jum Sr. was murdered. It's all cool though, Jum Jum Jr. holds onto the skull of his dead father every day. Murderers and thieves can be found by players with the ranger abilities, letting them track players down. For example, we once found the horrible stench of murder, and then picked it up and put it in our cabinet. 
so that it doesn't lose its freshness. It also means finding other players is nerve-wracking every time it happens, because you never know if they're friendly or not. Whenever I meet somebody new, I make sure that they feel safe around me. For all these really cool things the game has, it does have a lot of downsides. The graphics are bad, it lacks sound effects and music in general, pathfinding is non-existent yet they'll always navigate yourself, lag is constantly annoying, combat is weird and confusing, it's so unuser friendly that using a wiki is practically necessary to play, the standard UI is so god awful that it's recommended you download an interface mod by a guy named Ender just to play, and it takes hours just to do anything. And yet I play it every day! It's still in its alpha stages and has so much potential. It's addicting and challenging. It's more about the journey than the end goal. Every accomplishment feels huge, unlike other MMOs that have watered themselves down to the point of being routine. And best of all, the game is completely and totally free. No fee for download, no microtransactions, completely free. So if you're in the mood for something challenging and time consuming, check out Haven and Hearth. But don't come near our walls or Jum Jum Jr. will add your corpse to the others. Anyway, this game's pretty much the reason why I haven't been working on new videos as much as I should. But don't worry, now that I've told you about it, I'm going to get right back to work. Hey, thanks for watching my video. In the mood to watch some more? Why not check out the Super Highlight video? Or finally see why everybody loves the Nuzlocke Challenge and NupTup. Facebook and Twitter. Uh, Tumblr. P.O. Box. Twitch.